When I tell people I'm building a DeLorean hovercraft, the first thing they usually say is something like, No, you're not. Quit lying. Which is, of course, a perfectly reasonable response. Sometimes I actually let them believe that it isn't real, because I think that can make for a better surprise when they find out it is, in fact, real. But now that I'm asking people to help fund the project, I really need people to believe me. Even to believe in me. My name is Matthew Reese, and I'm building a DeLorean hovercraft. After over two years of fanatical dedication, I'm finally nearing the end of this project. I still have about three months of work left to finish it, but I'm running out of money and would have to abandon my beloved DeLorean for the foreseeable future if it wasn't for Kickstarter.com. Kickstarter is a website that allows creative people to showcase their projects online and inspire others to donate money and receive gifts in return. My goal is to raise $5,500 by July 19th to pay for construction materials and labor costs to finish my DeLorean hovercraft. On my Kickstarter project webpage, you can see the many gifts available for different pledge amounts. One appropriately mad scientist -y gift is a jar of ferrofluid and a magnet. Ferrofluid is a magnetic liquid that bends to the shape of magnetic fields. This never gets old, trust me. For a different pledge amount, you can get a photo of the hovercraft. <laughs> or one of my hand drawings of it. Please see my Kickstarter page for other gift options, including a ride in the hovercraft. Okay, I think it's time for you to meet her. Let's check it out. Here she is. If you're unfamiliar with hovercrafts, all you need to know is that there's going to be a fan in here that shoots air down underneath the craft and lifts it a few inches off the ground. And then this fan in the back pushes it forward. And there's going to be three rudders behind this fan to turn it. Even though it weighs over 400 pounds, when it's hovering, you can easily grab it with one hand and move it back and forth because it's frictionless. Here are the blueprints I've been using from a company called Universal Hovercraft. As you can see, I've made a few modifications, but it's coming along nicely. After I've convinced someone that my hovercraft is real, and this is really what I do with my free time, one common question is, but why are you doing this? And the funny part is I don't actually know why. I can't remember when I decided to build it or what my motivation was. But in general, I think it's because I've always really wanted to believe that life can be epic, that great things are possible. Once, when I was six years old, I asked my mom, Mommy, why don't wishes ever come true? She thought this was a terribly sad thing for a child to ask, of course. But what she didn't know at the time is that I was referring to the crazy wishes I would dream up when blowing out my birthday candles. Impossible wishes like, I wish for a jetpack, or a hoverboard, or even a hover DeLorean. So now I'm 26, and I have the chance to prove that some impossible wishes can come true. With your help. <laughs>